الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام advised us which is best for our hearts with that which was his best for our hearts he said look to those beneath you sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said look to those beneath you and when the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said this it of course has relevance an immense significance for us as as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the reason being a habatifillah is that when you look around you in this dunya, often we look to those who have more than us. Often we look to those who are doing better than us. Often we look to those who are more beautiful or more handsome than we are or who have more wealth or material success or in fact we may even be looking to those who are just better in the deen. But if we really, really broaden our scope and look as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said to those beneath us, we'll find that much of the world and most of the people have much less than what we have. They have much less than what we have. And so you see the wisdom in that is that helps you find contentness it helps you to be content with the ni'am Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. All the immense favors that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. That you begin to recognize that when you look to those beneath you. When you look to those beneath you, you see that there are many people who have, who are homeless. Many people in the world, not even just in your locality, but in the world, have no home. Meaning that they live on the street. They live in conditions in which I'm in now. Currently, I'm in very cold conditions. You know, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. May not be super cold. It's not Toronto. It's not much of the cold, much of the world, which is much colder. But it's very cold. You can't live or it would be difficult to live on the street under these conditions. Or perhaps you may find that you have a home at least. Or some people, they live on the street. But perhaps you may live in your car, which is very difficult. And perhaps you may have to sacrifice. You live with your parents or whatever the case may be. And it isn't an idea situation, but you're not living in your car. You're not living on the street. You're not living in these woods, which would also be a very difficult situation for most of us. So that teaches you to look to those beneath you. That is what the Messenger وسلم, was indicating, is that there are so many beneath you that should cause you to be content with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you. That teach you to appreciate, it teaches you to appreciate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Look to those beneath you. Look to those who have less than you. And Ahabatifillah, in coming back to the States, I see Things like the homelessness. And I see how people are struggling. And I see the netma that I had when I lived in Saudi Arabia. 
And even the ni'mah I have just being here, what a ni'mah min ni'amillah. It could be so much worse. It could be so much more difficult. But Allah has given us something. And we have to use and benefit from this ni'am from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and share our blessings in one form or another to show thankfulness and gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will yazidakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase you with more. So if you share, don't think that you're going to lose. But in fact, Allah, you are going to benefit someone else with blessings, helping them, helping them feel better about themselves, helping them maybe have a meal, helping them to do good. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase you because that is the way you show shukr lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's how you show gratefulness and thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, ahabatifillah, as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters, strive to be grateful and content. All of us have struggles. All of us has difficult, have, have difficulties. All of us are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But look to those who have much more trials and tribulations and that will help you to say Alhamdulillah. All praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That will help you show shukr. Because when you travel, another thing you will notice is much of the world is very poor. And when you travel, you also, especially in Muslim lands, when you see poverty, in some of the places, and sometimes even the non-Muslim lands, you'll find people who are very poor, but very content. And you say, subhanAllah, I know I probably couldn't do and deal with what they're going through. All the difficulties of poverty, the difficulties in having clean water, the difficulties in not having necessarily the greatest diet, the difficulties of watching their loved ones suffer because of a lack of medication or whatever the case may be. And that helps you to be grateful. And still they say Alhamdulillah. Or still they seem content. And they smile. And they treat you as a, an honorable guest. With very little that they have. This is shukr lillah. And this is how we should be grateful and content to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive us all. And to grant us all goodness. And bless us all with ikhlas with the bat. And bless us all with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And bless us all with forgiveness and gratefulness. And may Allah increase us all with more. That we can be more obedient and more grateful. And spend in his cause. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Wa sallam.